Hey, so, so today I wanted to talk about uh, a UI framework tool in Unity that you're probably not using and maybe want to look at. So uh, it's called Gnosis GUI. And if you're anything like me, when you're trying to make user interfaces in Unity, um, it's a bit challenging. Uh, I know some people are probably way better at it than I am, uh, but I struggle at, you know, all things kind of graphical, uh, especially user interfaces, and I find that trying to use the the object hierarchy and position graphics and get everything just right, um, it's super tedious, and by the time I do it, if I change any little thing in the hierarchy, uh, suddenly everything's a little bit off. Uh, so I found Gnosis GUI, and uh, what it's what it allows us to do is basically use WPF inside of Unity. And for me, that's super powerful. So I just wanted to kind of quickly cover, um, you know, s sort of the power of, uh, you know, the toolbox that you get with it. And then uh, in terms of controls and then uh, touch on the fact that you can use uh, familiar uh, IDEs to work with and not just kind of stick to Unity uh, for all your UI development. So uh, I think after that, I'll probably create a couple more videos diving into some of the, you know, how to get it set up and how to uh, little tips and tricks with that. But um, I think the really cool thing is that if you're like me and you like working in Unity, but uh, <laughs> you're not really great with the, the UI designer that they have built in, uh, and you are familiar with WPF, then there's a lot of power that comes with that. So um, I just have kind of pulled up in here uh, in Unity the some of the user interface for the game that I've been making for a while. Um, I've already started ripping out parts of this user interface to replace it with the WPF version, but I have a couple of pieces left. Um, so, you know, just if I look on the, the left-hand side, I have the canvas here. Um, I have this HUD. Um, like heads up display game object parent and then uh, a couple of uh, prefabs that have been dropped on the screen that um, I'm using kind of for resource orbs so because it's a role-playing game there's like a health orb and a, a mana orb but then I had to do all the work to try and you know to animate these th I'm using the word animate loosely but uh, you know uh, modify these things at runtime so when your health's dropping it kind of um, uses this mask overlaid to to kind of show the health orb dropping down, same with the mana, um, and then make them into prefabs so they can be reused, you know, all that kind of stuff. So even just to get that working, I felt was like pretty tedious. Um, the positioning of things is, uh, you know, uh, not not the best. I find, like I, I just find that when you make subtle changes, things start to look um, crappy real fast, and uh, you spend a lot of time trying to tweak it and all, just to break it really quickly. So. Um, with Gnosis, as I mentioned, you can use WPF, um, and what the first thing I wanted to talk about with that is that uh, all the controls that you're used to using in WPF are available to you. So if I wanted to try making, um, you know, a list box or something like that, so as an example in the game, there is an inventory where the player would have their items and stuff held. Um, there's a lot of tutorials and stuff online, a lot of great tutorials online for how you might make a list-based inventory or a slot-based inventory. Um, but you're kind of stuck putting all these things together from scratch in Unity. And even with all the tutorials, uh, I just found that, you know, I want to make things a particular way and trying to get other people's advice for how to make these uh, these inventories wasn't really for me because I need them to, to hook up with my back end in a particular way. Um, so I'm spending all this time trying to drag and drop these game objects and use prefabs and it just, you know, it was a bit of a nightmare. So if I could just have something, say, like a list box that works um, without having to, to tinker too much, that would be great. Um, or uh, like in WPF, we can use styles and things like that um, just to quickly edit one resource file and get all these changes propagating through. Uh, that's super powerful. Um, there's lots of little controls like layouts and grids and panels. Um, all of that kind of stuff is, uh, you know, are things that I miss from having a WPF editor and being able to leverage that with C Sharp. Um, I think from making desktop applications for a long time, that's something I truly miss when coming to Unity. And I find that, um, you know, I can end up building a whole bunch of stuff in Unity um, to make the back end of the, the game work. But when it comes to the UI, it's like, I feel like my hands are tied and it makes me actually not want to, you know, add content to the UI because all of it feels like, um, you know, I'm trying to like I'm coding with my eyes closed, you know, trying to fumble through, trying to get things to work. Um, that's my experience with the Unity Editor. So uh, 
Uh, as I mentioned, Gnosis does let me use all of these controls that I'm used to using. So what I'm going to do now is kind of jump over to Blend, which is kind of going to demonstrate uh, both this first part and the second part I want to touch on, which is that uh, we're able to use a familiar IDE. So instead of trying to position things in Unity and in, in the, the object hierarchy there, I can use um, this visual editor in Blend. I can see like uh, the exact layout, how my things are going to look, you know, in the, in the view up top. Um, I have my whole XAML editor in the bottom, which is great. It's what I'm used to using. Um, and the nice part about this is that this whole setup inside of Blend, uh, uh, as I mentioned, I'll make another video for how you can configure all this, but this whole setup inside of Blend is exactly how you're going to see it in Unity. And the cool thing about that is that I can just press start. It's going to load up some assemblies. There's a lot of back-end stuff in the game that it's loading up. And as you can see, like this is the the game UI um, without Unity. This has nothing to do with Unity, and that's, uh, to me, really powerful. It's able to take the WPF files, so um, your XAML files, and it actually creates assets out of them and then loads those assets up into Unity. So I can use Blend, create the UI I want with you know features like hot reloading inside of Blend. Uh, I can change the styles and stuff on the fly and kind of tweak things how I like. Um, you know, I can even try out like these interactions and stuff that I have coded up. I have a breakpoint. Should have removed that before the demo. There's another one. Cool. Um, so you know, I can. I can try things out. There's a bag of garbage here. I can go drop that like on the ground in the game. That's what that would be. Um, I can do all that kind of stuff in Blend. And um, the the way that I see the UI here, that's actually going to uh, translate directly into uh, Unity, which I think is powerful. So, you know, just to reiterate, I think if you want to check out Gnosis GUI, um, something that you're able to do, two things, I guess, is one, get access to all of the controls that you're used to using inside of WPF, um, you know, for free, basically, right? Because you can uh, you can just create these XAML files that you're used to making UIs with. That's part one. And then part two is actually using, a, for me, a, a more familiar IDE, like Blend, um, edit things directly, and then they just show up in in Unity. So just to quickly show you what that looks like, I have these resource folders. Um, and you can see that I have a, this is the asset file that it creates. This is the, the XAML file that I'm able to edit. So it's probably, uh, the font's probably pretty small there, but this is hudview.xaml. And uh, Unity uh, with Gnosis basically will allow it to uh, create an asset, which is HUDView. And then from there, I'm able to use HUDView inside of the game pretty easily. Like I said, I'll follow up with the video on doing that. Um, but yeah, I think it's super powerful for me. Um, it's definitely unlocked some, some user interface abilities in Unity because I'm no longer going to have to fumble around trying to make um, game objects in, in this editor here. Um, just because it's not for me, um, I really struggle with it. But uh, WPF and, and XAML are something I'm a lot more familiar with. So definitely recommend checking it out. Um, and I think that's all. Thanks.